Now these Chinese knockoff diesel heaters are really popular, but there's one downside, and that's the pump. The pump makes this continuous ticking noise. You can hear my heater just winding down now. It's reached temperature in here. It's a balmy 22 degrees in my van right now, and outside it's minus one. So it just shows how good they are. But like I say, there's one downside, and they tick a pump. Tick. You can probably hear. If I hold this down here, you'll hear it ticking away. I'll show you. Down underneath here, there's the offending article. You can probably hear that ticking away. And at night when you're trying to sleep, it sounds even worse. So to make that quieter, to try and muffle the sound, I come up with this idea of using this pipe insulation. And this stuff's like, I think it was 85p from a popular DIY store. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a section of this off, about that much, like that. And then I'm going to, it's like a pre-cut thing there, I'm going to split it, put it over the pump, hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't be able to hear it anymore. So, uh, yeah, simple as this. Let's see, I'm going to do this live. <laughs> so, cut a piece of that over there. Hopefully my pump's as I'm going. And then it's got this pre, I mean it's not, I don't know if that does come apart. No, you need a knife still. Just run your thumb down it like that. So cut that down here like that, nice and simple. So now we've got this nice bit of insulation. I'm going to pop that over the pump and then see what it sounds like. it louder. <laughs> well that didn't work. There you go. I think that's it actually amplifies it. But well, there you go. Not all good ideas or quite what they seem. Yeah, doesn't work. Well I think again melt. <sighs> There you go, that's how not to make your pump quieter. <laughs> it's quieter, it actually makes it louder. Well that makes an interesting video, doesn't it? Oh well, I'm gonna crack on and do me uh do me varnishing. Well if you like this video, give me a thumbs down. <laughs> if you think I'm a nutter, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Feel free to leave a comment below. This is probably one of my shortest videos ever. Um, well, you know, I've got to show you the failures as well as the successes, so there you go. Using pipe insulation around your fuel pump will not make it quieter. It actually makes it louder. <laughs> Unbelievable. So there you go. Well, that's pretty much all I've got to say for now. I'm going to do a bit of varnishing. Oh, varnish while I'm on the subject. Now I'm going to use this varnish. It's low in, what's it called? Low in VOCs, which is... A volcanic, oh, vo volcanic, <laughs> volatile organic compounds. I don't know about you, I don't know. that sounds pretty scary to me. Volatile organic compounds, right? So, this is low in them, as you can see. Now, I was going to use, and there's a similar, there's something called Danish oil, and a lot of people use Danish oil on their wood. I went to look at some of that yesterday and it said it was high in um, volatile organic compounds. Apparently, Danish oil is quite high in these compounds. I thought, well, I don't know what it is, to be honest. But I don't like the sound of it, so I don't want it. Sorry about me, cam camera's falling over. Sorry about that, right. So yeah, I thought, well, if, if it's such a big deal, this... Um, volatile organic compounds if they're that bad for you um, I don't want them right there must be something nasty about it otherwise why would they put a big label like that on the tin right as I say it does what it says on the tin and if it's bad for you and they put it's low then uh, it's got to be a good thing right so I'm not going to use Danish oil 
I'm going to use this satin varnish. Now it's for interior, it's interior wood varnish, which means um, it's uh, it's water based, so it should wash out my brushes really easy. So that's why I've chose that like, rather than the Danish oil, because uh, the Danish oil seems to me like there's something bad about it because it's high in these volatile, <laughs> I'll read it again, volatile organic compounds. So yeah, low volatile organic compounds to me has got to be better than high. <laughs> so that's why I'm not using Danish Dutch oil on my ceiling, on my side panel. I'm going to use good old fashioned varnish, be done with it. Whatever you put on your wood, it's got to be to protect it. It's got to protect it from moisture in the air. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to crack on. So if this video made any sense to you at all, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down. Most importantly, leave a comment below. Feel free to talk among yourselves for half an hour. Thanks for watching.